Larry Page's City of the Future on Toronto's waterfront may end up having one foot rooted firmly in the past. Sidewalk Labs LLC, the Urban Innovation Unit of Alphabet Incorporated, is considering constructing buildings in the 12-acre high-tech community entirely with tall timber technology. Engineered wood products that proponents say are as strong and fire resistant as those made from steel or concrete. If the proposal goes through, Quayside will include about 3,000 residential units and would be the largest development built primarily with tall timber. Using technology to help solve urban issues is a particular interest of Alphabet co-founder Page, who is using the Toronto project as something of a test case. Sidewalk Labs has talked to developers about collaborating on tall timber, which allows for less carbon intensity than traditional building materials, is more sustainable, faster to erect, and cheaper to fund. Wood has been used in home building throughout history. But tall timber construction uses materials such as cross-laminated timber, wood panels made from gluing layers of lumber together, and has slowly been gaining traction in countries from Austria to Japan. Tall timber buildings may also soon pop up in Toronto with the Arbor, a 12-story building that's been proposed for George Brown College on the eastern waterfront. But Sidewalk Labs has to overcome several challenges to make this tall timber project a reality, including the fact that Toronto's building code currently allows for only six stories of tall timber construction that is expected to be extended to 12 stories, though, by 2021. But Sidewalk Labs has plans for towers up to 50 stories tall. The company has already faced many hurdles in Toronto, including intense scrutiny on how it will handle the extensive data that it may collect. The project will take up a chunk of 800 acres on the eastern waterfront, one of the largest underdeveloped urban parcels on the continent. Sidewalk Toronto has dedicated $50 million to planning the project and expects to have a clear outline coming up in January.